What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top five best places to live in Winston-Salem. Let's get into it. My name is Ramon Lamelli. I'm a local realtor and the team leader of the Smart Move Group brokered by eXp Realty here in Winston-Salem as well as the surrounding areas. And we're not gonna waste any of your time. Let's get right into it. Now to come up with this list, I did a little bit of research online, but I also took from what I hear kind of on a daily basis. These are some of the most popular neighborhoods that people ask me about when they're trying to move here inside of Winston-Salem. And while there are a ton of great neighborhoods all around Winston-Salem, these are some of the most popular ones that I personally get asked about all the time. Also worth noting, these are in no particular order. Number one, Ardmore. People love Ardmore because it does feel like its own community inside of Winston-Salem. It also happens to be the largest historic district inside of Winston-Salem. It was established in the early 1900s and today it has almost 2,000 homes. The kinds of homes you'll find there are either cottages, Victorian, or craftsmen, although there are some other kinds of homes in there as well. Now another reason it's popular is because it happens to be placed between both large hospitals inside of Winston-Salem. There also happens to be a lot of locally owned businesses there. Restaurants, barbershops, anything you can think of. And there's also a park inside of Ardmore. It's called Miller Park. In the last six months, 86 homes have sold here and the average price of those homes was $331,000. You will see some really old homes there, but most of them were actually built in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. By the way, in the about section below, I'm gonna put a link to each one of these neighborhoods so you can see what homes are currently available right now. And if you'd like to learn more about Winston-Salem, we just completed our brand new relocation guide. It's gonna be in the about section below as well. Number two, another very popular neighborhood is gonna be Sherwood Forest. Sherwood Forest began in the 1960s and 1970s. I love driving through Sherwood Forest because you can tell that everyone just loves taking care of their homes inside of that neighborhood. Now the kinds of homes you typically see in Sherwood Forest are going to be larger brick homes on very large lots. The location of Sherwood Forest is also very convenient. There are a lot of restaurants, entertainment, and shops nearby and it also happens to be really close to Wake Forest University. Sherwood Forest also has five parks and two neighborhood pools. It's one of those neighborhoods where you often see people jogging or taking a stroll with their dog. In Sherwood Forest in the last six months we've seen 37 homes sell. The average price in the last six months was $524,000. Number three, we're gonna talk about West End. Now me and my wife love West End. We recently attended a holiday homes tour there that only happens every two years. If you go to my channel on the shorts tab, you'll actually see that video. Now basically we got to walk through a ton of homes in the West End neighborhood that were all perfectly decorated for Christmas. These are old 1900s mansions and really big homes. I mean, they were lovely. You really gotta check it out. Now West End is actually the closest neighborhood to downtown Winston-Salem. And even though some of the homes are built in the late 1800s. I would say that most of the homes were built between 1900 and 1920, 1930. Now back in the early 1900s, this is where the elite of Winston-Salem lived. It also happens to be one of the oldest, most historic parts of Winston-Salem. The entire neighborhood is actually considered a national historic district. Now there are all kinds of homes there. Some are really quirky and colorful. Some are more traditional. Some have been renovated. Some are true to their era. And like some of these other neighborhoods, there's a lot of locally owned businesses like bars, restaurants, and shopping nearby. Now West End can be quite exclusive. There are not a lot of people that sell their homes there. In fact, in the last six months, only six homes were sold. And the average price in West End in the last six months was $510,000. West End is one of those neighborhoods where it's kind of fun to just drive through there and see these old, really big historic homes. And you kind of get an idea of what Winston-Salem was like in the early 1900s or the late 1800s. By the way, guys, if you're getting any kind of value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you go down there, hit the like button, leave me a comment, and above all, subscribe. Those kinds of things keep me motivated to keep bumping out these videos for you. Number four, Washington. Washington Park. Locals describe Washington Park as a neighborhood for young professionals. There are some bigger homes in there, however, the majority of what you see is probably gonna be cottages and bungalows, small, really historic, kind of craftsman-y style homes. Now, some people get really quirky with the colors or the siding. Some like to keep their homes in pristine, original condition. Washington Park also has a really cool park in the middle of it. It's kind of sunken down and you kind of see the neighborhood around you, it's kind of cool. It's also in a very convenient location inside of Winston-Salem. And it's actually quite affordable. So if you're looking to get into something with a little bit of character as opposed to something you know, kind of boxy in a neighborhood. You can get a really cool historic home in the mid 200s. Now Washington Park is a large neighborhood and in the last six months, we've seen 23 homes sell. The average price for these homes was only $273,000. Now keep in mind, some of them are gonna be on the smaller side, but this as well is also a fun neighborhood to drive through and kind of get to know the area. Number five on today's list is gonna be Atwood Acres. Now Atwood Acres is popular for many reasons, but I believe the biggest reason Atwood Acres is so popular is gonna be the location. Atwood Acres is really close to 
Haynes Mall, which is our big mall here in Winston Salem. So you're gonna have plenty of dining, plenty of shopping, plenty of things to do in this area. It's also really close to major highways. Not only that, but it's also kind of tucked away behind another neighborhood. So even though you're close to everything in Winston Salem, you're still kind of tucked away and you feel like you're not in the middle of the city. Typically in Atwood Acres, the homes have larger lots as well, so people like that. It's one of those neighborhoods where everyone kind of knows each other and waves hello as you pass by. Most of the homes in Atwood Acres were actually built in the 60s and 70s. Unfortunately, in the last six months, we've only seen five sales inside of Atwood Acres. And in the last six months, the average price was 247,000, but I have seen homes well into the 300s inside of Atwood Acres. Let me know your thoughts on the brand new relocation guide that we came up with for you guys. As always, I would love to hear from you. Feel free to reach out, call me, text me, email me, whatever works for you. Let me know what you'd like me to cover in the next video, and I'll see you next time.